And I'm out here at the uh, Indianapolis Pride Festival. If you look behind me, you can see the uh, activities, people lining up to get into the Pride event. Uh, I've seen some pretty, really outrageous and sinful outfits, particularly worn by men. But anyways, we're out here uh, bringing the gospel to this Pride event. And uh, this is something that Christians, I think, should be engaged in. Uh, taking the gospel to events like this. I mean, you hear it say that we should cast our pearl before swine, but listen, there's, there's a large group of people here who need to hear the gospel. So it's important that Christians get out here, not just to share the gospel, but also to push back against really this, this wickedness in our culture that's being celebrated at a public park. So I have Kip Farrar here with me, and he's going to share a little bit about why Christians should be involved with uh, events like this, how he gets his church involved, and uh, just the importance of sharing the gospel in the public square. Thanks. Because you think this baby is going to drain your finances, you should kill it. For your rebellion against him, Jesus Christ bore that sin on the cross. Okay, uh, well, my name is James Farrar. I go by Kip, and I'm the pastor at Aletheia Church. We're on the south side of Indianapolis, and we are out here today at the, Indi the Indianapolis sodomy celebration, also infamously known as Indy Pride, uh, to basically share the gospel. And if you look around, you can see the, the line of people going behind me there. If you look down the, the line there, the, the, it, it's somewhat dissipated a little bit, but we've had people lined up all the way down to that where that crane is over there, um, waiting in line for this, this uh, celebration of what God calls an abomination. And the reason that we're out here is not because we hate people, not because we want to spread hate or a message like that. We're out here to tell people that, yes, God is love. God is absolutely, that the scripture describes God as love. But the scripture also defines love for us. And love, among other things, the scripture tells us, love rejoices in the truth. And the truth is, is that Jesus Christ is the King of kings and Lord of lords. And because of that, Jesus is establishing his kingdom. And the, the scripture also tells us that among those who will not inherit the kingdom of God, are those who practice homosexuality, those who are sexually immoral, those who are adulterers, and many other things. But it gives us, it also gives us hope because the people to whom that scripture came, it goes on to say in 1 Corinthians 6, 11, that such were some of you. And so we are out here today because we believe in the power of God to save sinners. We believe in the power of God to redeem those who society says, ah, just let them do whatever they want to. They're going to they're, they're, they're just gonna uh, they're, they're gonna have their day and and uh, they'll let them have their fun we see these people are made in God's image and yet churches all around are, are just allowing them to go un, unimpeded into the very maw of Satan into the very depths uh, into, into the gates of hell we're out here to stop that 
we're out here to say if you're going to go to hell, you're going to do it uh, as you go past us, declaring the kingship, the lordship of Christ, in the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why we're here. And I would encourage any other pastor, get your churches out to these events, because these events, maybe not this big, but these events are in your hometown too. They're in every hometown. I know I, I, I get guys from Timbuktu out in the middle of nowhere saying that their, their, their library just had a drag queen story event. Um, for where they people bring their children out to see these to see these groomers and these sodomizers, uh, Christians, the time to confront this is now, and the me the means by which we confront this is with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Christ came, He bled and died for sinners such as us, for sinners such as these, for sinners whoever hears the whoever will hear and respond in faith to the gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why we're here, and, and pastors, I can't encourage you enough, get your people out to these things. Get your, get your men especially out to these things and declare the gospel of Jesus Christ. If you like this, please like and subscribe and comment and share this so it gets out.